All right, what's going on guys? It's GCP here and I want to write this open letter or in a video format anyways to Activision and Infinity Ward, letting them know why people are frustrated with their game. And this is again in response to that survey that they put out asking people what would convince them to play Modern Warfare again. Because the only reason that they're putting out the survey is because let's be honest, that the player drop off rate for this game the population that are playing this game has fallen off drastically. That's the only reason why they would be sending out this survey. So let's give them a reason, some of the reasons that I'm gonna list below. And by the way, you guys have any more than I list in this video, please let me know or let them know in the comment section below some of the needed changes to be able to make this game much better and the reason why people are falling off. But anyways, I want to let you guys know, Activision and Infinity Ward, that these are the core issues that people are having with this game. This is the reason that I'm going to list that people are frustrated and not playing your game. Okay, and listen closely because you might want to actually, first of all, play test your game, find out the core issues. You'll know exactly what's wrong with it. Also, make sure you guys are listening to YouTube videos where people are giving you guys tips for improving this game. Don't just listen to the pros, don't just listen to each other because it seems like you're in an echo chamber just bouncing off ideas amongst each other and get out of your egos, okay? It's okay to listen to some constructive criticism. So with that being said, let's get into some of these things. Number one, the footsteps. You know, the huge maps in this game require constant sprinting for smooth flow and I am tired of being sound hoard at every angle, every match, just like I'm tired of having time limit games. You know, everywhere I go, I don't want to have people just sit there waiting for my footsteps. You know what I mean? That is not going to increase the flow of this game. This is actually going to encourage more people to camp. And if you guys have not noticed already, camping is a huge problem in this game. So you guys wanna fix that? Fix the footstep audio. Make sure that the footstep audio is drastically reduced because it is way too loud. Also, the teammates' footsteps sound just as loud as an enemy's footsteps. Should, should there not be a distinction between them? I mean, either make the teammates really low or just in total, completely take them out. That way you can hear the enemy footsteps because there's been a lot of times where I'm set up in a place and a teammate comes from behind me, but those few seconds where I take to find out whether it's an enemy or not, I look the other way around where I was already looking and an enemy pops up and kills me. So I don't wanna have to worry about that every single match that I play in, okay? Number two is the compass. Now the compass is new here to Modern Warfare and there's just so much camping in this game, right? So you can't give a player's position away with the compass. I mean, just take it out. I, I don't see a need for that compass. If you already have a mini map, there's no need for this compass. If a teammate shoots near you also, it blows your cover, especially when you have a good position. There's been so many times where I'm set up in a place and I think that I have a good vantage point or I'm holding a good position or a good angle or whatever and a teammate just shoots near me and it will blow my cover meaning the enemy will find out exactly where I'm at where he didn't know previously where I was at so this needs to be fixed or completely taken out you know you, you shouldn't have this compass giving away players positions away like that just bring back the old red dot minimap system I don't think anybody had any complaints with that Number three, the silencers. Look, when you shoot with one on, enemies still know where you are. Why is it not blocked on the compass? And they are still loud. Look, the whole point of a silencer is to be silent and keep enemies from knowing your position. So why then are they still super loud and why do they still show up on the compass? That makes no sense. Skill-based matchmaking. Look, I already talked about skill-based matchmaking so many times, but 
there should be an equal balance. I should not be punished for doing well in a game because it seems like the players with the high KDs are going to be camping. The whole reason they have a high KD is because they were camping. And if I'm going to get paired up with players who have high KDs, especially when I am running and gunning and I'm getting a good score or a high KD in general, I should not be paired up with players who are constantly sweating by camping. You know, that, that should not happen or at least reduce skill-based matchmaking so it's not as thick. There should be an equal balance here. I don't want to constantly have to play sweats and also I don't want to constantly have to play noobs because that doesn't give you a challenge, right? So there should be an equal balance. Connection is key here. You want to have connection be the priority when you're matching players up, not based off of their skill. I think again, like I said before, this should be based off of connection. And that again is gonna have the players want to come back. They don't want to have to constantly play in a match for doing good with sweats all the time and also noobs all the time. So again, like I said before, an equal balance would be great. And bring dead silence back as a perk. Why they took it out makes no sense to me. Doesn't make sense to the community. Put it back in any slot that you guys wish to, but dead silence should have never been taken out of the perk slot. Having it as a field upgrade where you have it for a limited amount of time and only time it extends is when you start killing people. But again, it's really hard to kill people when people are camping or head glitching or whatever, right? So bring that back in a perk slot. And also if you want, or I think you should do, is really nerf ghosts. I don't know why you guys made it so ghosts is so powerful in this game. The only way that Ghost should work that they've had right in Black Ops 2 and beyond is when you move. You should be camouflaged or hidden when you move. That's the way that Ghost should work. Not all the time. You know what I mean? Another thing is the maps. Look, it's no surprise that these maps are horrible, but look, you guys need to board up windows, put less head glitch spots, get rid of safe spaces, and light up dark areas. All of these are problems in this game. Another thing is player callouts. This should be taken out of the game. I don't need to hear my player call out the fact that I'm reloading, planting a claymore, etc. I've seen so many kill cams where I am clearly, or where I can clearly hear the enemies calling out, which gives away their position. I mean, it's hard enough staying hidden in this game, but when you have callouts, players telling you guys where I am, that does not help with the element of surprise. When you want to flank people, when you have to reload, why are my players letting the enemies know that I'm reloading or I'm hurt? You know, I'm planting a claymore. Okay, if they know behind a certain doorway that I'm I'm planning a claim or you think the enemy is gonna want to come through there you know if they're within the proximity like some of these don't even make any sense so I say just take player callouts completely out of the game again there are so many other things that I could list in this video but I want to let you guys know that please leave in the comment section below if there's anything that I missed or that anything needs to be added that is contributing to players leaving this game and why players are frustrated with this game. Anyways, with that all being said, please let me know all of your thoughts down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys on the next one. With that being said, this is GCP signing off.